All right, what up y'all, it's Matt. So we're restoring the old Yanmar tractor and I got all these old nuts and bolts that are all nasty and rusty and corroded. And I have an easy, cheap way for y'all to replate them so you don't have to buy new hardware. Man, this is gonna be awesome if it works right. Let's check it out. All right guys, so we got all our supplies over here and all our hardware we're gonna replate over here. So here's some of the hardware we're gonna replate. Look at all this good stuff, guys. You can't buy new hardware like this. It's a waste of money. We got plenty of good hardware here. We just need to get some more zinc plating on it. Here's some of the nuts and bolts that we're gonna be replating. They're all metric and you can see some of them are specialty bolts like this. Very difficult to replace. And they're all hardened, which is crazy. Every single one of them is. To replace all these with hardened bolts like this would be very expensive, so we gotta restore them. I got various clamps down here we're doing. Here's part of the clutch lever. All right, so supplies. White vinegar, light caro syrup, Epsom salts, zinc sulfate. I'll put a link in the description to that. We need a bucket. I got a 10 quart bucket down Home Depot. We need a place to hang it up here. We need a zinc anode, solid zinc bar, zinc plate, something that's solid zinc, zinc wheel weight. I got this off of a boat. And they put these on boats to stop corrosion. I got this out of boat junkyard. These are awesome. They are solid zinc and they are way better than anything else you can buy. Here's a part number if you wanna get this exact one. You can also use one of these off of an outboard. It's a broken one. It's down there, it's an anode down there by the exhaust. We need a power supply. This one's five volts, 800 milliamps. You don't want more current than you need and you don't want more voltages than you need. It's all based off of the surface area that you're plating. I'll put links in the description where y'all can calculate all that stuff. This is just a little wall wart. If you're not plating much, one of these little power brakes will work. This thing only lasted about an hour for me and then died. I had to break out the big boy computer power supply with five volts. That way it's constant volts and constant amps. This is gonna work way better. We got our positive going to the anode and our negative going to this and then we're just gonna suspend our parts like that and get them plated. Here's a before. Everything's gotta be perfectly degreased and free of rust because what you put into the process is what you're gonna get out. I'm gonna be using some muriatic acid, this is hydrochloric acid, to remove the rust and any kind of grease and any kind of corrosion that's on any of these parts. Don't use this if you are not comfortable using it and you don't know how to be safe with it. I'm not responsible. This is what I like to do, and this is gonna how I'm gonna do it. Never, ever, ever open this in your shop. It will ruin everything. It will rust every single metal tool in sight. The smallest amount of fumes will. Don't do it. Acid bath, fresh water, plate, rinse. Epsom salts, zinc sulfate, vinegar, syrup, oh yeah, all that old zinc and rust is coming off of there nice. Degrease everything and now we're plating We'll be back in a couple hours you can see it's changing color look at all those little bubbles Okay, it's been an hour. Let's see how we did Whoa guys that thing is totally coated that worked awesome Awesome, let's check the other ones. Oh Yeah, that thing is totally coated there's a couple little spots on there, but man, that looks pretty good. I think I'm just gonna run every part for an hour. That looks awesome. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm stoked. All right, let's shine up one of these and see how it comes out. Whoa, look at that, guys. It's perfect, it's good as new. All right, I'm gonna shine up the rest of them. All right, so you really need a dedicated power supply because you need to control the voltage and the amperage. So this thing is getting the job done, but it's not ideal. It's running about one amp, two volts. The volts don't really matter that much. They just can't be too low. It goes power supply to the light bulb, which is limiting my current up to the tank. You really need to control the voltage and stuff. You need a variable resistor and a real power supply if you want to do this a lot. But this is quick and dirty and it's going to get the job done for me. Don't even think about just hooking this straight up. I'm using the red wire, which is five volts. This thing would pull a ton of current. It would pull like three or four amps until it would just cook the solution. You gotta control the amps. You really have to. That's why we got the light bulb in here. It's limiting the current and then turning it into heat. It's like a resistor. Hardware came out great. Nice and shiny. Look at that, nice and shiny. You can see it missed a couple spots. I gotta fine tune it a little bit. 
Here's after. So shiny, you can't even get on camera. Looking brand new. Back on the tractor. Man, that looks good, guys. It looks good as new. Sweet. All right, there's one more step you can do. You can get blue chromate or a yellow chromate, and you put that finish on there, you know, like a factory finish with the bluish tint to it or the yellowish tint to the bolt. I'm not going to do that on these ones. I'm just going to run them how they are. I don't really care. It's a tractor. Like, I don't care if it looks, you know, not that bad. If I want to replate them, I'll pop the parts back off and do it. I'm not worried about it. But if you want the ultimate finish, you need to get some of that stuff. Links in the description. Lessons learned. Use a real power supply. Monitor the current and the voltage. Don't use a bubbler. It didn't help. Use a circulation pump and circulate the water. Don't bubble. The bubbles are counterproductive. All right, y'all, that's it for the video. Man, that worked awesome. I can't believe that worked that great. So save some money, guys. Replate your old hardware when you're restoring stuff. Check out the links in the description for supplies. Check out the links in the description down there. I'll give you a full write-up on the ingredients and the ratios. Be careful when you're doing this. I'll check you out on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe for more Yanmar videos in the future. It's almost done, guys. Peace.